Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. It's back to reality for me. <laughs> and I am currently in the lunch line. Now mind you, Chipotle. Shouting you out. Love you. Okay? But it seems like more recently it's been causing me unnecessary bloat I don't like that because as I said and I'm gonna keep saying it because it's true I'm one spinach leaf away from keeping it all together and one french fry from losing it all and being pretty much a can of biscuits now mind you I love me a can of biscuits and people love me but I ain't trying to look that way okay I'm, nope it's not cute on my frame so what we gonna do mind you <laughs> with the last vlog that y'all saw i think i walked i think a minimum of 10 hours over the weekend like straight consecutively 10 hours because there's so much walking where i was at so i'm sore i'm not gonna walk for at least two more days because when I tell you when I got back home and unpacked everything, I still need to do laundry. So when I unpacked everything, I took a nap. I was supposed to go to a movie and all that. I didn't. <laughs> so I don't want to make it seem like my day was wasted because I don't like my weekends being wasted. But my body just needed the rest and when i go home and i do my laundry i still may take a nap i don't know this child i am exhausted and these are the days where i feel like and i know you, i know you i know you feel the same what am i about to say hold please well let me find out inflation has gone down So as I was saying, when I was looking you in your face, and I'm about to do it again. I don't care. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm, I'm good to go. I know you feel the same way about this. Okay? Yeah. Because I feel it deep in the depths of every fiber of my being and soul. When you come back from a vacation, I don't care if it's a weekend, a week, two weeks, what is work? What? why am i here i should be under a canopy i should be chilling on the countryside i should be chilling in my room on the boat whatever whatever vice of vacation that y'all like to do because i like to do those things too child but what we not finna do is feel like we gotta work you gotta make the money to go on the trips i get it but work ghetto to me right now like that's how i'm feeling it's feeling real ratchet it's feeling real <laughs> I don't, why am why why am i why am i not being supplied the life that i need i should not be clocking in and out that's how i'm feeling right now and I'm just being completely honest. And I'm always going to be blunt with you. I don't care. Because. I feel. <laughs> there were certain things that I have experienced. That I'm not able to do right now. That I can't not have anymore. And again. website now mind you I 
know it's not the season when it is a little hotter. Now it's turning into fall. It should be fallish by the time y'all are watching this. But get you a candle. Get your item on my other website. I'm going to swipe the two websites right there so you can peep game real quick. But yeah. Get you a few little items. Okay? Because like I said, I have been saying this for years. Okay? I have a traditional mindset where I believe I should be provided for on a male type of tip. You know what I mean? But you know, the world said, no, be an independent black woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing it. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. Okay. So I'm going to stuff my face with this lunch. I'm going to contemplate. <laughs> I'm gonna contemplate and ponder how the hell I could either win the lottery or I could get some type of stimulus because I need help. I can't do this life, so I can't. <laughs> the nine to five life, it done me good for years, but baby girl gotta go. She gotta have her own schedule, ma'am. Gotta have her own schedule one day. We 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 gonna do it. we the goal will be achieved. I don't care. It's gonna be achieved, god dang it. Let me go ahead and go to Christ. Listen to me. I'm sure you can see by the green right there and the sign right there. I'm at Dollar Tree. When I tell y'all. Because if you saw my products that I recommend for skin and whatever with this vitamin C one, I stocked up today. I don't care. I got three of them things. I don't care. And when I tell you I've been looking for this forever, because I'm not buying it off Amazon. I'm not doing it. So, Freeman Charcoal Scrub. Now, mind you, the Dollar Tree one, hold on. Hold, please. You know, they were always out of stock or whatever. But this one... Go to your Dollar Tree and get the vitamin C situations and then the kissable charcoal wash. Because with, with this vitamin C, I don't know if it's a serum or a water, whatever whatever the case may have you. With that and my hydrocortisone cream to balance out the redness in my skin and so on. And I just ordered another product too from because I always say and people that know me know this I always say oh I need to buy the brand of the either the resort hotel suite whatever cabin take home travel size bars of soap that they have for the face and body or whatever I don't care I bought some so you don't see the brand or whatever that I will recommend I did get the non scented one even though the scented one I think it's called fresh air with the brand um pretty sure but I wanted just the fragrance free one and even so if I don't like it I'll exchange it but for now yeah that's what we're gonna do when that comes in I will show you guys but until then with the products at the Dollar Tree I'm pointing at the sign right now at the Dollar Tree and get you some Hop, skip, run, jump, whatever you gotta do to get there. Train, boat, helicopter, I don't care. Get yourself. Okay, I'm going home, bye. <laughs> hey y'all, I figured I'd talk to y'all cause mm, I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say nervous, that's not the right word. I haven't done this in a very long time so apparently at work um we're being nominated for um just a business type of nomination and i guess people are coming in to film the ceo and everything like that so i haven't done like commercial type of things in a minute i did it when i was
was in college a couple times. But other than that, um, mind you, public speaking, not a problem for me. It's just, will the camera <laughs> pick up the face? Because I know my angles, but do they know my angles? No, they don't. So, <laughs> I don't know if I have a speaking part yet, but um, we'll see. Because it's just a natural type of thing. It's not like a long snippet. It's just like an intro to certain things, I guess. So, we'll see. I got my jewelry on and all that, so. We're going to see, child. It's, um pretty gloomy outside I'm not too keen on that but this should take an hour of filming time and then hopefully the rest of the week is pretty slow because like I said like the week after a getaway or a vacation or a weekend what is what is work like I said yesterday, what is work? But, you gotta do what you gotta do to live and pay bills. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what a life, right? <sighs> I'm just being realistic with y'all. I don't care. It's early in the morning. And, what do I keep telling y'all? Keep it blunt. Keep it real with you. Okay. Alright. Let me get my mind prepped for this situation. Hey y'all. So I've been chilling ever since I got off of work, but I figured I'd give a recap on the shoot. Mind you. Got some wine because today has just been to me. It's just one of them days because as soon as I said came back from vacation. It's been rough transitioning back into the work lifestyle. So with the shoot and all of that, it didn't take too long. They did more um, drone shots than anything. Um, but it kind of took me back to the college years because I did a JC Penny like professional wear ad um i don't even think it's existent anymore <laughs> but you know it was that was fun to do and it's like doing it now i don't want to say it felt unnatural because clearly i'm not shy of the camera <laughs> but it was just like felt i guess weird It, it, you know, there is like, I didn't get told anything. The only reason why I knew that it was happening today was because right before yesterday, before I left, I was told. So it was like, you know, not knowing or expecting what they wanted out of the team. So it was like, you know, you just roll with the punches and all of that. And it was, to me if the editors do their job correctly, that I think it will turn out nice because your girl dressed up. As you saw, I didn't do like a full body type of situation, like a outfit of the day or anything, but it's just, I don't know. The thing is too, that it's not going to, it's, it's really weird because with being nominated for the company, it's being nominated for something. And you don't know until you go to, you know, the award, you know, situation or whatever, who won or not. And to me, it's like, I won't know that until probably eight weeks from now. And you're, <laughs> and we shot today. And it was just like, 
I just want to know the background process of everything. So that just triggered my creative mind because <laughs> they said it is not until November, child. Hello? <laughs> okay. But it's probably going to be because, you know, this video will probably be at the maybe end of October, beginning of November. So it's the timeline syncs up. But I'm just saying, currently, it is weeks out before this award situation even happens. So to me, it's weird because it's just like, okay, there's only top five companies that got nominated for this situation. It's eight weeks out. Mind you, I don't know if I gotta find an outfit to wear or not. I don't know if the team's cohesive and we're gonna match outfits. I don't, mm. I don't know. <laughs> we, we just gonna have to see. And my neighbors wanna do the whole stomping situation again, so I am sorry if you hear it. Kids that like to be real active, I believe if they hear me speak or if I'm doing laundry or if I'm in the shower, they really like to be really stompy, really, oh, mind you, and I don't care. I'm being blunt. <laughs> Last night, with the situation upstairs, <sighs> do I even want to say it? Do I really want to be that transparent and blunt? Let's just say the woman wanted, I don't know if it's husband, boyfriend, fiance, I don't know what status it is. That woman wanted that guy out of her place. Mind you, if you if you tell somebody that you don't want them in your space and you want them out, clearly you want them out, that means they have another place to go. So why they're here most of the time, you know, even though the lease says you can't have people over an extended period of time, but <laughs> I digress. Um, but you know, favoritism is a thing. Anyway. The stuff I heard at one o'clock in the morning last night. You would have thought it was a situation where The Rock in The Big Show was going at it. And I'ma just say it at that. And if you know, you know, okay? I'ma just put it out. Is what it is. It is none of my business. I'm done with this place anyway. And I don't care at this point because as I said before. And I know it went from work to WWE. <laughs> I completely understand. But. I, you don't get the raw for me. You don't get the fun. You don't get happy, you don't get the joyful, you don't get the raw, you don't get the transparent, you don't get you don't get all that from me. Because I'm gonna look back at this a few years from now and be like, you really went through <laughs> and experienced so much. You know what I mean? And that has been my entire life so far. There has always been a time period, a very extended time period in which I look back at things and reflect on how far I have come and how I was able to get out of situations through the power of God in Christ. So back then, I would say a few years ago, I didn't give as much recognition as I should have because in short, I 
wasn't in a particular understanding or the type of wisdom that I have now scripturally and spiritually. And mind you, the hood smarts, the book smarts, I got that on lock. Okay, never get that twisted. That's not going to leave my head. That's not going to leave my body. That's not going to leave my spirit. But I've added on the spiritual realm of things that I know understanding with that. So I understand a lot. <laughs> Your girl's educated baddie in several realms of life. So <laughs> I just want to look back on this and be like, wow. <laughs> And y'all are on the journey with me. So I know I'm not the only person going through a massive exodus, if you will, or a massive climbing out of something or just a point in life where it's such a pivotal 180. Because whoever said 360, I'm going to correct you right now. 360 means that you ended up right back where you started because it's a full circle if you do a 180 it's a flip okay so whoever says i do a 360 don't mess with them please please don't mess with them okay say i did a 180 okay all right so i'm about to Mind you, I, I think more recently I've been talking about Dollar Tree situations a lot. Um, let me get you some. Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dollar Tree little um, liquid containers. Now, mind you, I put this specifically. I use these for wine, right? Whatever wine that I do not consume that's left over that I cannot finish, I put it back in here and I seal it with the cork. So, yeah. Just want to put that on there before I called it a night. But, yeah, I'm going to finish this little situation. Mind you, this is 19% wine. And I'm going to get some more probably this weekend. Because it's good. It's Dolce Raz. Who are you? Who do you know got some Dolce Raz wine? I do and do. That's what I thought. <laughs> but yeah, cheers to you. Gonna call it a night. And we will see where these next couple days, few days, other days, whatever days. See what we come up with, okay? <laughs> good night, y'all. <laughs> listen, I know I said good night, but listen. This, if anybody knows me on the planet Earth, they know that this movie right here holds a special type of thing in my heart. A time period in which I went through hell. And this movie has gotten me through so many times. And I found it on YouTube for free. Because mind you, it wasn't on there for free. It was for a buyer rent, but now it's on for free. I'm watching it tonight. I don't care. This this movie right here okay even the beginning scene hard the whole movie is hard okay classic <laughs> I know you see them rays of sunshine right there it was brighter i tried to adjust my cameras a little bit but yeah y'all see them do i have to say more <laughs> thank you lord so as you saw 
I'm by the water right now. I wanted to come here to have a change of scenery because this week I have been like pretty much just going home after work and not doing anything. Just haven't had the energy, unfortunately. So, <sighs> and I was watching a documentary and it was about, uh, you know, just things about certain paths you can go on and you either go on the narrow path or you don't. I'm speaking in blanket in general terms, but if you know, you know, because I like to be balanced when I talk about things. Let's um, seclude any extra noise if I can. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I like to be balanced when it comes to topics at hand because to me, I think it's important that I <laughs> show off, you know, just myself and my personality, but also just things on a spiritual level with God and with Christ. So that's kind of like the theme of this episode, I want to say. It's a, <laughs> to me, it's a balanced type of episode. So I'm here with one of my bags um, I got some reading material and my journal anytime now okay so um, I have been more so verbally praying more recently but me as a writer I just feel like I can convey my words better through writing but got my new journal, another Dollar Tree product. <laughs> Cause your girl is on a very strict budget right now. And then this um book that I showed you in earlier vlogs. Now mind you, I um with this book in particular, the first chapter really you know, because I never buy a book unless I read the first chapter. And if I like it, then I purchase it if it feels like I can learn something from it. But I don't know how I feel about it because what page was it? Now, mind you, I know this is a um, person that is not of color. But I was like, damn, you gotta um, explain it like that. You gotta make that comparison. But, okay. So, it's, uh, mind you, he's an older man, whatever. But still, to me, that is not an excuse to talk right, whatever. There's just certain stuff that you don't say. I took it wrong and it made me stop reading it. But anyway, it's chapter two where it's titled The End of a Loser, The Beginning of a Winner. And mind you, he's self-proclaiming that he's Italian. More so Sicilian, okay? And it says the sentence that I'm, that kind of was like, wow. First chapter was great, and then you already on the bull on chapter two. It says lots of people start out poor, but the way it was where I was born was a special kind of poor. Maybe something like the kind of poor. Okay, Mustang. Let me start that over because it's just rumblings, and I want you to hear me correctly. Lots of people start out poor, but the way it was where I was born was a special kind of poor. Maybe something like the kind of poor these days if you're black and poor. And then he continues to talk about, you know, especially him not liking to be, 
you know, discriminated against and called certain, you know, things that Italians are called. So, I'm like, what is going on with these books just having bull written, like, you, you have the nerve to put that in a book? Like, anyway, I, I don't know if I could look past it, but I, you know, took it here because I wanted to read and clear my mind. So we'll see. But yeah, that may be a dud. I may have to resell it or something. I, I don't even want to resell it. I just, I low-key want my money back. We'll see. Maybe I can do that. Probably should do that. Anyway. Story time, real quick, before I read. And that was the whole premise of me even turning on the camera. Because I said I'm balanced. I'm about to read a good book. But I'll also tell you a quick story. So today, it was very unexpected because I was watching the R&B Money podcast. And I told you guys about it before. It's with the singers Tank and Jay Valentine. Well, I shared, <laughs> you know, their content and link to their video because, you know, the meme or the description or the debate or whatever I'll probably try and include it here if I could find it but with Lloyd's song you is the lyric she's five two or is it she's fine too so I know iPhone just came out with the new yeah. headphones and everybody wants to know if you'll be able to hear is it five two or fine two with them so every day somebody asks me is it 5-2 or is it fine too? And I always say, it's whatever you want it to be. Because that's what music is all about. Okay. And you, you know how it, people were like, it's either it's still a bop either way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it is, that was my favorite song for the longest. So... When I saw the breakdown of the lyric on this particular episode, I was like, oh, okay. Finally, we get some answers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, not right. it, it, ain't, it ain't all. It ain't all. Yes. I'm from California. So we look at like, your it. lingo. That's exactly what's being said. <laughs> might be like, yeah, man, I talked to her. She fine, too. But I want you. I ain't talking about her. You know what I'm saying? There goes the lyrics. Like she fine, the lyrics. She, she fine too. This is it's why the songwriters be in That's there. why yeah. you go to the strip club. Yeah, she's fine too. That's why it's too. necessary. So, Tank and Jay Valentine posted it on their story. Now, mind you, and I do appreciate them doing that, you know, I like when people you know, point out things, especially in their craft and on their podcast when they share what people are saying about it and they're engaged like that. That what that is what makes me continue to watch certain people because not only am I trying to engage with you, I'm glad that I'm getting responses back because to me it's just like I don't get a lot of social time anymore. So when I'm able to feel like I'm able to at least get some type of because my phone be dry child but that's okay because I chose a certain life and I'm not turned back and I stay 10 toes down on it so I lost a lot of people along the way because of it but anyway it's like cool you see me see you like I, I like that component about social media you know and that's what drives me here because I want people to engage and I want people to, you know, get to know me for who I am. And I think it's just, I think it's fun. So that's a quick story time. But um, I don't know if I should post the uh, screen recording of them actually posing because, you know, people you know, get shared and reposted. Not all the time. I just know it's a rare occurrence for me. <laughs> so I may just include it for, 
you know, memory type of purposes. Mind you, it, to me, it's not like, oh my gosh, because I'm not like a starstruck type of female. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just, it's the component of, like I said, like, you see me see you type of thing. I'm not too keen on, and um, obviously random today, I'm not too keen on this whole, again, getting dark at 8, 8.30. That, it's not my jam. I don't like it at all. Like, why are we doing this right now? So I decided just to come out and enjoy the last hours of sunlight because with these type of days and this view and the sky and the water, it's always been unmatched for me. It's always been, you know, something so indescribably beautiful to me. And I'm lucky enough to live by a body of water because for so many years I, you know, wasn't able to have that type of view and a place to clear my head. And there's, I want to say a fork in the road for me, which is another reason why I have to get into this book because the ebb and flow of the Holy Spirit, right? It's like, it's a twinkle, you know it's there, but it's a, it's a little twinkle. Or, it, it's like, or it bum rushes you and it's like, you know it's with you. Like, it is on your head, boy. Like, you know it's there, right? And I would say for the past, I want to say a couple weeks... I want to say it's more of that little twinkle, like you know it's there, but it's like nothing, you know, you don't feel like you can run off and fly like a squirrel monkey, because like, <laughs> you can feel like, to me, I feel like I could be invincible, especially when I feel the Holy Spirit very heavily, and then other times it's just like, I, it's like lethargic when I don't feel it powerfully. So I have to get back into this book to gain some, you know, leveling up with that because I, I need it in my life. It's like a, it's like a habit that you need to be able to be okay. And I just ask that the Holy Spirit be on me to a point where it is truly felt and I feel the covering and I know that I'll be okay. Granted, I know I'm covered. I know I'm going to be okay. It's just the certain feeling that the Holy Spirit initiates and fires up in you. That, you know, is the ebb and flow type of thing. I don't know if it, you know, is a little twinkle right now because other people are needing it right now. But I'm just asking, you know, God personally, please restore that within me. Please know that I want to feel the Holy Spirit heavily. I want you to know that I want to receive it fully. And I hope that if your followers or your people that you know that are trying to get to know you and so forth, please bestow it on them as well so that way they know what it feels like. Because it is a very beautiful thing. The soul is a very beautiful thing, and with the Holy Spirit in it, it is unmatched. So, I pray for myself and for you that the Holy Spirit is bestowed upon you. And with that being said, I'm going to give you one last shot of the water as the sun is between the trees. It's a beautiful sight, so I want to end it off with that but until next time take care
I'm never tired of getting up, I keep on learning. In the name